Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, coming here with the uh, third installation of our Avid Capture Tool. So, um, there were two more videos before this, and hopefully you went back and watched them both, because we're continuing on from we, what we previously learned, and we learned quite a bit. This is the first time I've had to make three videos, because it was so long, but I made a list here. So far we've learned basics of project formats, capture devices, power schemes, source tapes, resolutions, the difference between OMF and MXF formats, and capture options. So if you already know how to use all this, then I guess you're in the right place. Or uh you know, you may want to go back and look at those really quick. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. For this session, we're going to learn the importance of time code, mark ins and outs for our capturing, the comments or naming conventions, the log and batch capture mode, which is really cool, and how to import CD audio if you'd like to add some music or something to your track from a CD that you have. And of course, I might just throw in a little bit of information at you that may not be in that list that I just mentioned. And like I say in all my videos, if you haven't watched any yet so far, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user and as well as a Avid Media Composer certified user. And that means that I'm certified as a user, but in no way am I a certified instructor in any of these programs because uh that's an entirely different thing. So um let's get started here. Basically, I wanted to see their uh, 